All right, here's my on-the-fly review of the SuperCycles Turbo 800 scooter. Now, mine has been a little customized by yours truly, but uh, that doesn't change why this scooter is completely awesome. I've had four scooters over the last 10 years. Forget the rest. This is the jizz. I uh, made a custom deck for mine over here. I make uh, custom decks just out of wood, replacing the one that's on there. If you want to see the stock one, you can see it anytime by Googling uh, SuperCycles Turbo 800. And like they say, watch out for the other guys, the discount guys. This is the item here. Notice, that's what you want. Anyway, little bell. Uh, let's take a look down. This lock set over here is awesome. It is really tremendous. Uh, super good, super solid field. First position turns the unit on. Second position turns the lighting system on. Um, let's just go from front to back. The light on the front, oh yeah, it works great. I thought, you know, maybe I'd replace it. I'm really good with high power LEDs. Nope, this is totally adequate. Works great, focuses great, just perfect. Front end, this is what you are paying the extra little bit of money for and not buying it from the other guys over here. This front end rocks. Uh, this is a mechanical device and after you use it for a little while, you take a little wrench to this and tighten these down a little bit after initial break in. Uh, nothing really to know about that. The quick release lever, pull out little baby and the whole thing folds down. You've probably seen that on other videos and that just works just fine. The huge stickers on the side, I just pulled them off here. It said super cycles. Uh, they don't stick very well anyway. And underneath there's some vent holes, no big whoop. The um, suspension, two shocks on the uh, back here for the rear suspension, work great. You can adjust them according to your weight so that they get a little bit of compression. They should compress a little bit while you're riding it, when you're just sitting on it. Um, I put a little uh, 720 mile a gallon sticker on there because this thing, that's what it does. You put $3.50 worth of gas in here, I mean of electricity, and it's gonna go 720 miles. The low gearing gear set in the back, thumbs up for you over 150 or 60 pounds. It cranks, the top speed comes down a couple miles an hour. Who cares, this thing flies. I've added the uh, brake light. Chris has those over there. This is a little bit different style one. The front and back disc brakes are tremendous. They really work well. The adjustments are super easy and uh, align. you can see the alignment on the website. You know, after initial braking, you might want to tighten them up a little bit. Uh, no big whoop, you just have pretty much hand controls over here. You just go like that, look at the spacing on the, uh, the disc in there and you can tell, you know, sort of exactly where you need to set it right down there in that little slot. You can see it as you move the lever, the spacing on the disc. And uh, I added a little under, uh, the seat pack here because the little charger goes right in there and you can just take it along with you. I did add a uh, more deluxe seat on mine just because uh, I'm older and I want a little more cush so I've added a little gel seat on it. The one that comes with it actually is superb. It's just fine. Um, the seat of course pulls out and uh, with uh, no locking components you just pull it on out and then your um, top to the battery container comes up and you got your batteries in there. These batteries crank. I'm not kidding. Uh, you know, I'm an expert at this stuff, and uh, these batteries rock. They're not uh, deep cell, they're deep cycle, AGM, absorbed glass mat, deep cycle cells, and they crank. I just took this thing on a four mile, I mean at least four mile, uh, complete uh, balls out cruise. I'm 207 pounds, uh, <clears throat> went all around the school, up and down, all over the place, and it's, it's still at full charge. Uh, this thing just rocks. It just keeps going. That's the major failure point on other units. Those batteries are going to go right down the drain. And uh, when you talk to Chris, he can fix you up with anything you need. All the spare parts, all the tune-ups, things like that. So there's a little hop-up you can do yourself. Like the seat, platform if you want. You know, I made mine a little bit bigger. Just took a piece of uh, board and traced it out, cut it. A little bit of uh, sanding. You can just pick any kind of thing you want to put on there. And you are ready to rock. There you go, Chris at superscootersales.com. Thumbs up.